everyone's had that special someone, right? A new girlfriend or a new boyfriend and had to go through that whole meet the family stage. Depending on who your partner is and, well, who their family is, anyone can have a either uniquely great or uniquely bad experience and you'll always leave with a story. And that same thing applies for the Zulu Warriors. Except their meet the parent stage is more like a family versus family war. And during this war, they encourage other people to join in on the family versus family Zulu stick fighting war. And that's not even the only reason Zulu stick fighting is pretty cool. So let me tell you more about it. What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing a Raiders and the Super Row hat and welcome to the Black History Week here on the Modern Ninja channel. It's the first of the theme weeks here on the channel, so make sure you don't miss out and hit the subscribe button and even the notification bell so you don't miss when I post next. Nguni stick fighting is a martial art that was traditionally practiced by teenage herd boys in South Africa. This would essentially act as like a training game so that would teach these herd boys to protect their flock of whatever they're guarding. You know, as herd boys do. Essentially, each fighter would be given two long sticks, one being for defense and the other for offense. And they would go at it, fighting each other and practicing combat awareness, reaction time, and many other skills that this uh, game would teach them. Not a game, not a game, not a game. We talking about practice. And they had to get really good really quickly because there was basically no armor used, no protective leather, just, you know, going in at it. So <laughs> so you would feel every mess up, every miscalculation, and every slip up. So obviously they learned pretty fast. Now, although traditionally Naguni stick fighting only uses two sticks, variations quickly popped up all around South Africa, eventually leading to the incorporation of shields as part of the arsenal of the Zulu warriors. Now, did you know that the Zulus aren't actually professional warriors? Like the Spartans are professional warriors, the Marines are professional warriors, but the Zulus were more like a militia. I know, even I didn't know that until researching this video. A Zulu warrior would be a part-time member of the militia and typically join between the age of 19 and 40, depending on, you know, when the conflict happened. And because there weren't full-time warriors, their true strength was reliant on their knowledge of the terrain and the straight determination that they had to defend their lands. All that to say, it kind of makes sense why this form of stick fighting was incorporated into the zoos. Because oftentimes those herd boys that did Naguni stick fighting, yeah, they would just take that and perfect it in actual combat as a Zulu warrior. And the zoos would still use one attacking stick and one defending stick, except the attacking stick would often be traded out for a stabbing or throw spear. The stabbing spear having a shorter blade so that it didn't get stuck into people when you stabbed them, and the throwing spear being a much longer version of the shorter spear, but, you know, longer so it's easier to throw farther. And they would obviously interchange with these weapons depending on what part of the formation they happen to be in. They would also use axe and maces, but those weapons were significantly less common. But their attacking side was not the only part that was traded out. The defending stick would also be traded out for a shield. Specifically, one of like five different types of shields, but most notably the, and I'm gonna butcher this, the Ishilangu shield. This being a five foot long battle shield made out of cowhide. Now, it, this was very tough and durable. However, not against guns, and the British had guns. Which is why the Zulus soon adopted guns into their own arsenal as soon as they could get their hands on them. Yeah, the Zulus had guns. Another fact that I didn't realize until researching for this video. However, back to Zulu stick fighting. When practiced in sparring sessions or for sport, the object was for two opposing warriors to establish which of them was the strongest or the Nkunzi. Nkunzi meaning bull in Zulu. In modern times, this is typically a part of wedding ceremonies, like I was talking about earlier, which the warriors from the groom's household welcome the warriors from the bride's household, and sometimes even other groups of warriors that were just hanging around. They can all join the fun. And let me tell you, this is how I want the next wedding I go to to work. I want us to receive an invitation that reads, wedding ceremony, come ready to battle, or I don't want to go. It's about to go down. They would even have an Nduna or a war captain to serve as a referee and make sure everyone stays okay and nobody dies. So we can be safe. Please, someone, make this normal in the US. But with that, make sure to not mess up the rest of Black History Week here on the channel. And remember that my name is DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.
If you like this video, check out this other Black History Month video, or this one that you two think you'll like as well. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next one.